In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. We left off with stepfather versus father. Wait, episode 12 is just called Kafka Hibino? Damn, the title is just his name? Uh, it's not enough for my man, bo. All Iharu ever does is feel insecure around Reno, man. Well, Reno doesn't even think about him. You're the one guy I refuse to lose to, says Iharu, but all he's done is lose to Reno the entire season. The only reason this dude just fucking just keeps training is because his life is an entire L living in the shadow in Reno, man. Huh? Sure, I'm sure our letter's gonna work out. It's a good news. Are you serious? Is no one that actually shows up for the exact meeting? They're just talking through her through this fucking cam? Because they're trying to protect their identities? A seat has not been prepared for you. Can't even sit. Damn. I don't know how I feel about these higher ups, man. They're like, don't even fucking sit. It's not even ready for it. These are MTS seats. What? 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 We're just an observer. All right. I guess they run these. You know, HQ runs things a bit differently. Smack daddy around a little bit though. He dodged it. Classic anime cliche. Something happens really fast. What did they say? Oh! Dude! He punched? And instead of returning to normal form? He decided to break his back? And keep rotating 360. Oh! Because he can just keep regenerating, yeah. I still want to smack daddy around a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what happened here? Was he taking these hits? I couldn't tell. He is taking these hits! Damn, I feel kind of bad for Kikuru now. It's like, it's like, you know, think of it like this. No, that's like a bad example. I was going to say like meet the, you know, it's like a teacher student meeting day and then Kikuru shows up with her dad and then Kafka's the teacher and the teacher beats his ass in front. I don't know. It must feel weird seeing your dad get beat up in front of you. Huh? <laughs> Not enough, not enough. Regenerate easy. You can relocate the core like that? Just abandon your body, pull the fucking core out. What? Nah, 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 nah. Not ready for any, this kind of fortitude. This is going beyond 10.0? With combined? It should expand bursts like beyond fortitude 10.0 then. Yup, trying to see if Kafka can control, right? Because Papa believes. Papa is smart enough. Alright, let me change the headset here. I think that this pretty much confirms that Papa is not stupid. Papa knows exactly what's going on. Papa knows the strength of, you know, name number kaiju. This is like a phenomenon that's never happened before. This is our one chance to be able to use Kafka in a greater way, right? That's what he sees right now, right? 
What are you gonna do about that? No shot, you can just keep moving. Can capture control it. Damn, he's still moving with a chunk out of his stomach. Oh, right, the suit can heal, event like slowly but surely, right? No more dialogue. It's a soundtrack. I kind of want to see Kafka evolve more and more because, like, he turns more into a monster, right? Oh! I kind of feel bad now. I kind of actually kind of feel bad now. Stop it! Stop killing Papa! <laughs> Kikoru, say something! Shonen speech time! <laughs> <laughs> you can't say I'm not gonna kill Kikuru's dad in front of her and then immediately just go pop 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 come on <laughs> Oh god <laughs> Oh, come on, you know him. He'll control it. Yes! Here it is! Oh, it's that fly thing again. Huh? It ate us again! It's the same fly thing! The fly thing within us ate us again? Come on, no, 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 Kafka's gonna, he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it, but how though? I feel like I've seen scenes like this in every goddamn shonen anime. Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, like, where the main character is somehow submerged in water and just like floating. And then a beam of light will happen and he can get back up. Like, this gotta be the most cliche shonen shit ever, right? No, reach for the light. And then maybe Kikuru will be there. I don't know. The hand will reach out. <laughs> who is the hand? Is it Kikuru? Whose hand is it? Wait for you. Mm, stand beside. We're back. Nah, he'll stop. He'll stop. Papa's fine. Papa's fine. Where's the blood? Oh, he punched himself there. Okay, now show that you have control. Yeah. Here comes the title drop. My name is Kafka Hibino. Yes. We proved to Papa that we can control it, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. That's an 01. Yo! That's an 01. That's a named number series, bro. 01. Kaiju 1. Okay? Narumi is another character that we should uh, be aware of, but they're wearing a helmet, so I can't really see that face. Take the helmet off. What do you look like? Narumi. Narumi. First Division Captain, Gen Gen Narumi. Okay, he seems pretty OP, huh? Train him. It's gonna be your greatest asset ever in this defense force. Now, I wonder 
what it means here, though. Right? Because, like, what actually happened here before the bullshit shown in fucking moment here, right? I'm, I'm fine with Mina reaching out in the water and, like, regaining himself. But why did the fly bite him, do you think? Right? What do you think it means here? Because that the fly, this fly thing, it went in us. It was already speaking. It says, found you. And then it went inside of us. And then we became a kaiju. And now this thing bit us within again and then we were put into this water situation i wonder if there's actual any like plot relevance here of like the meaning of him like biting us or if it actually just means nothing and it's just just to look fucking cool just to remove kafka and put him in a different environment of submerged in water for the shonen cliche to happen i don't know is there like a deeper meaning to the fly i i i i, I don't know it's the same fly that we've seen it's a bit bigger than before obviously because before it was like pretty small when it went in us and within us, it's obviously, like, pretty big here, right? But it's like, what is it? Why did it choose Kafka? There must be something special about Kafka. It says, found you. Specifically was looking for Kafka and then turned to Kaiju 8. Why? What's the fly's goal? I feel like these are endgame questions that, you know, we're asking kind of for spoilers for. So, no more spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Also, why y'all saying Narumi's hair fucking sucks here? What? What? <laughs> Why you, why, why you telling me Narumi's hair sucks? You guys saying you fucking... <laughs> it, it's not what he's supposed to look like? Is his bang supposed to be down? He's more Ikemen in the manga? I would Google search Narumi right now, Kaiju Wait, but if I Google search, it's probably gonna be like Narumi fucking dying or something, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Alright, let's move on. Shinomi I trust him. Okay, this is bullshit. They said that she was an observer. There was no seat ready. I see one fucking chair here, bro. There's one open chair here right now. Every chair. There's one chair. Mina could be sitting. Come on. Come on, bro. Tell the friends. Paperwork, not paperwork。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい
Remove the boomer council here. Oh, I, I, every one of them. There's not a single good one. They all suck, dude. Oh. Papa, say something! Clap back! I know Papa knows some bullshit, man. This exec council, they should all be ashamed of themselves. These two are the only reasonable ones, I think, right? The Baldi and the iPads guy, right? Baldi, iPads, and Papa, they seem to be the only core that's, like, on point. Everyone else, they just suck. これで我々の判断が拙速と言われることもないでしょう。処分の手配はできています。We're keeping him. We're keeping him. We're keeping him. Come on. 悔しかった。何もできない何泣かした怪獣は絶対許せねえって。Is this important? Hold up, hold up. 悔しかった。何もできない自分が皆を I told myself I'd make the kaiju pay for making her cry like that. Like, I'm not sure if this is because, like, we're talking about Miku, the cat, right? The kaiju that killed the cat. Like, I thought it was like a random kaiju that, like, monster, Yoju, Honju, whoever killed the cat. But, like, is this kaiju important for the future? Like, the cat killer is out there at large, or it, 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 may, maybe it doesn't matter, right? I don't know. This sounds very specific to a specific kaiju, man. Papa? I wish he was like peeling like an apple by the bedside and like feeding us, bro. That would be peak cunny slice of life moment for Kaiju 8 right now between the two fathers. Thank God we didn't kill him, yeah. Yep. Damn. <laughs> He's probably thinking, shit. You care about my daughter more than I do, damn. No. He probably accepts that you're a Kaiju though. We know. Ah, there it is, there it is. Papa Vito. Yes! I mean, this part's cap. It's not clear if a weapon made from him would be able to produce that much power. I'm sure, like, it would be fucking insane, but I'm glad that you're vouching for us, Papa. That's right. We should use Kafka. Damn! Number six? What happened? This is like a huge incident. This is like their Shibuya incident. Over 200 officers and three captains lost their lives when Kaiju 6 attacked. Okay. Mama Shinomiya died on the attack of the six? Oh. Holy. I wanna. Yo, can they make a movie on that? Like an OVA episode? I want to see the 16 of invading. Well, you know, it's mutually beneficial. Nice. Man. Papa Shinomiya. Who would have thought like... I don't know. I, I thought he was going to give us the most trouble. He's going to be the most against us. But actually, from the beginning, he was the most curious. He already had the idea of like, maybe we can use this guy, man. He was such a good character from the beginning. I just had a negative bias because of like the relationship between him and Kikoru and how... Like a heart of a dad he was being, but like, damn. Everyone said nah. He was the only man that vouched, and it just overrode everyone else. So good. So, 
<laughs> what do you think happens here, though? What do, you, what, what, do you, what do you think happens here? Do you think they just, like, stared at each other? Because he just, like, sat there for, like, three seconds just in silence. Do you think he just leaves after this? Like, I, it's always funny in my mind just to, like, imagine, like, the events of some scenes where it's... Because, like, right now it looks epic, like an epic stare down. But when the camera pans away, what do you think he does? They're like, <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Mina? Good message, right? Good text message. Well, it says disposal deferred, meaning like, you know, they may still do it, but you know, it's not happening now. Everyone wants to get strong as Kafka. Are they really setting this up, Kikoru versus Kafka in the future? If he ever goes berserk, she'll be the one to like control him. That would be an interesting way in the future, huh? Like they've been setting this up from the beginning. Wonder if they'll actually like follow through. Our boy's back. <laughs> yeah. Reno. Fucking Iharu, man. He's such a hateable and a lovable character, bro. I hate it when he's all being insecure and just like, you know, being jealous. But then there's also moments like this where he cared more about Kafka being released than Reno at the end, dude. In the beginning, in the, you know, in the gym scene, he was like, no, he can't fucking do it. But then he secretly wanted it more. <laughs> yes, sir. Was anyone against it? Other than the boomers? People outside of us, like the public? Like, Season 2, come on, give it to me! Mina. The end. No, not yet. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. We're, we're back with the Janner squad, though, but, but Kaiju 9 already switched bodies, though. Uh, rankings. Rankings. Night Night, Yuzupon, Momozun, F, Green or Blue, pointed at. Where's Zaza? Where's Pale Red? Where's Zaza? Kaiju 9? Number, what does that say on the very top? Number nine. Is that Kaiju nine? The, the, the highest ranking. Nine. I can't read the. What is, what is, what is it? What does the Japanese here say? It's just number nine, guys. It's just number nine. There, it's not, he's not going to say he's Kaiju nine. He's just saying number nine. All right, all right, all right. Kaiju nine. There he is. Oh, fuck. Bros playing 12 chess kings at once. He's getting too smart. This guy, number nine is so scary because he keeps getting smarter. He keeps getting smarter and smarter and, and there is no stop. It just keeps getting smarter and smarter. He's got a Roomba now. He's so smart. He understands how to use a Roomba. He's ordering products off of Amazon Prime. Oh, we are cooked. We are cooking playing 12 in the chest and has a Roomba? What did you say? Sorry, I was on that. What did you say? A weapon is the ability to accumulate knowledge across generations. Then, okay? What are you talking to? Who is we? Who are you talking to? So he's already figured out the mapping of the different bases. Next phase, he says. Who is he working with? Uh, Do we know anyone else right now? I don't remember. I just remember Kaiju 9 swapping bodies and going to other places and then Kaiju 10 showed up. Is Kaiju 11 nearby? Yeah. Who's he talking to? Oh. 
Time to bring the kaiju power that fell into human hands. Clearly the fly that went into Kafka. They're trying to retrieve kaiju 8. Because kaiju 8 just defected. And like become awoke and was like, nah, this is wrong. I'm gonna try to take down the kaijus by siding with the humans. Like, oh, oh, okay, okay. Or, 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 or. Maybe it's not just Ka if Maybe it's not Kafka. Maybe they're talking about just the numbered weapons as well. I'm not sure. I'm inclined to think that it's the topic here is Kafka, but there is a lot of kaiju powers, you know? It, it's very vague. It could be the numbered weapon series, or it could be Kafka. It could be everything. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Kaiju 8. You know what? This anime, minimum 9 out of 10. Am I crazy for 8? Minimum 8.5 out of 10. Scale higher. This anime, straight up from episode one to finish, not one single episode did I think that it was mid. Every time, it was balls to the walls, go, go, go. And just because an anime is just balls to the walls doesn't mean it's good, right? It could be rushing things, but I didn't think it was rushed. I thought it was so good. It kept the audience engaged. It kept the exposition short. It kept, it kept the action just going constantly for the Shonen show. I think it did a perfect fucking job. Dare I say better than solo leveling? <laughs> was Kaiju way better than solo leveling? Listen, I'm not sure if I want to go down that route right now, but goddamn. This show straight up probably is my favorite anime of spring 2024. I would... Put this top three confidently, if not top one. I honestly can't think of another anime where it was like every episode was this good. Of course I like my isekais, of course I like my tensors, but like if we're talking about entertainment value on each episode, goddamn, this shit was peak. Now I hear season two is also confirmed, so we'll be kind of waiting for that. Overall, again, minimum 8.5 out of 10. Thank you so much. I know that my channel is a bunch of degenerate shitty isekai enjoyers and harm enjoyers, but the Shona series, you know, we're kind of dabbling our toes and then it did decent enough. So thank you for that. And whenever season two comes, we'll be there to check that out. And until then, take care.